the astrologer and today I want to talk about moon phases. Now to make it easy for you to understand I'm going to bring you to the sky at night and sometimes when there's a moon you can see a full moon and sometimes you can't see a moon at all. So obviously we're going through the moon phases at that time. So we start with a new moon and you can't see a new moon in the sky but you can actually tell if somebody's born under a new moon and we'll come back to that in a minute. So the first phase, there are eight phases all together, the first phase is a new moon and I'm actually born under a new moon phase. And the second uh, is a crescent moon and you can you know see the crescent in the sky that's when there, it is a crescent moon so anybody born then has a crescent moon phase is born on a we call it a crescent moon phase and then we have the first quarter and then we have a, what we call a gibbous moon and then we have the full moon uh, you know when it's when it's really bright and it lightens up the sky and then it starts going back down so then it becomes a disseminating moon and then it becomes a third quarter moon and then it becomes a balsamic moon and then it comes back to a new moon so there are eight phases and um, each moon phase um, means something different and you'll have the new moon um, is about um, new things so you doing new things at a new moon is really really good and if you um, start something, anything, it might be a, a class, you know, like an aerobic class or something, it would be really good to do it on a new moon. So starting things, um, going, going dancing for the first time, that kind of thing, it would be really good to do it. Um, so, um, whatever phase you're born on, and you'll only know that by going to an astrologer, um, has a, an effect actually on your personality. Um, and so if you're born under a new moon phase, you, one of the things you're going to be doing is always starting things. Um, and that's me, I'm always starting projects and always wanting to be doing something new. And that's always been right through my life. So as you progress through life, um, you're going to have um, what we call the progressed moon phases. And you each one going all the way round from the new moon to the balsamic it takes 30 years so it takes from a new moon to a full moon takes 15 years and then another 15 years to come back now depending on where it was when you were born um, it, it's going to um, have an effect obviously more in midlife so for instance, if we look at, um, I'm thinking, um, Johnny Depp again. Um, Johnny Depp was actually born on a full moon uh, when he was born. And so it would take 15 years to go to a new moon. Okay, a new moon is to remember a new beginnings. So he was 15 when he got um, his, new, his new moon um, and at that time he just recently moved to Florida and his mum and dad had split up um, and it was a new beginning for him and at that time he started a rock group and it really was the beginnings of his, um, his career of being you know out on, on, the, on the stage really where people could see him so it took another um, 30 years for it to come back to another new moon. So uh, it was, that was when he's 45. He's now, that seems hard to believe, but he's now 50. Um, so at 45, he would have his second and the most important, it's always the most important, is, this, is the middle one because you're no younger young and you're not old so it's when you need to really sow the seeds of the new moon um, and that the seeds need to be something that's going to grow into something beautiful um, but some people obviously don't understand that and they actually plant weeds so 
So actually, uh, what they get uh, at the full moon is a load of weeds because at the new moon they didn't sow the right thing. So it's quite important that people know when their new moon phases are in their lives and you'll only know that by coming to somebody like me. Um, so anyway, so he's he was 45 um, and I think that was when he was starting the Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, so again, you know, this is kind of a, um, a time of when he certainly got recognised, it brought him into the spotlight. Um, and he's been, you know, he did Edward Scissorhands and he's done really kind of unusual, quite dark, kind of deep things, you know. But, you know, he does have a chart that represents that kind of uh, personality, you know, he's, he's unique in that, really. So, um, the new moon is the emergence of the seed, and this takes approximately four years. So I'm thinking it takes 30 years in total, it's about four years. So that is the time of the emergence of the seed. And then it goes into the crescent moon, uh, which, which is what we call the assertion time. So it's when you've, you can't plant any more because the ground is full. But you actually work on what you've planted, and again, it could be weeds, and you probably, you know, you don't have to do anything. So all you're getting is your weeds. So it's really important that you know when these times in your life are. And then the first quarter is the next the one, and that's the time of action. And it's really when you're capitalising, you know, on what you're actually doing from the new moon phase. Then you have the gibbous phase which is uh, a time of expression and and you're actually bringing out what you you actually planted and people know about it and people are aware of it and then you come four years later to the full moon and this is a time of fulfillment now if you imagine if you've planted something and you and it grows and you get the fruit on it if you don't actually take that fruit off that tree it actually falls and rots. So it's really important at the time of the full moon that you use all the things that you've learnt in that, in that last 12 years because it's obviously a full moon is 15 years. So and if after that four years is gone, it's kind of too late, you know, for you to take, take the fruit off the tree because it's all rotted, unfortunately. So it, this is a really important time of people's lives, the full moon time. And then um, we, we go down to the disseminating, and that's, that's the disseminating moon. And that's a time when you're actually thinking about the last 15 years. You're synthesising it in your, in your mind, and, your, and it, it's not a conscious thing. I mean, you, you know, you, you might be actually thinking about it, and it's right, it's the right time to be thinking about it. And if you've not done the right thing, you're probably thinking about the fact that everything's gone wrong for the last 15 years. So, you know, unless you go to an astrologer and you're actually told all this, you know, you're not aware of it. So then after that, it's the third quarter, which is the time of when you um, reorientate yourself as to what is going to happen and maybe in the next at the next new moon and then lastly we have the balsamic phase and it's another four year period and that's a time of release a time of letting go a time of clearing out your paperwork you know and doing some tidying and clutter clearing and that might be um you know also about your yourself you know you might be thinking that you your weight's not right and your health's not right so you're all what you're doing is getting ready for the next new moon and what are you going to do in that new moon phase so it's a really important part we get three if we're lucky 30 60 90 but it does depend on what moon phase you are when you actually are born um but most people as i say We'll probably get three. Anyway, this is Sue Fletcher signing off this time and I'll be back with a bit more of information. Thanks. Bye.